Hey guys, we are preparing for our trip to Bonaire. Um, so we are about to go through all of our dive equipment. And right now, uh, Bob is cleaning his mask, one of his masks. Yeah, one of them, they're still dirty. Nothing worse than getting on the bottom and you can't see anything because it's just nasty. So Bob, tell us uh, and our viewers um, what all to do to prepare for a trip um, for nine days of diving. Well, I think it's the diving is the extra part. <clears throat> the stuff you have to be prepared for is more what you do in the day to day. The diving, if we're doing, yeah, that's what we're going to do while we're there. But it's also what other stuff do you have to take with you that's important? Are you going overseas? Are you going? Uh, are you staying like in the States or it all depends on where you're going and what you're doing. So if you're preparing for diving, yeah, you have, of course you have lots of other things you have to worry about, but this time we're putting a pack of diving gear. So. All right, guys, we are in the room with all of our gear and I'm going to hand it back over to Bob. You're not going to hand me anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's more, get it all put together. It's a guest bedroom slash dive gear room and uh, so we're just going to look to make sure that we've got everything that we need to have because we're going to really have a, a wide range of dives that we're going to do this next one. We're going to do some shore diving, we're going to do some boat diving. I think my brother and I are going to go off the wild side of Bonaire which is a little bit more, uh, I think you have to be a little bit more experienced to go there. We're also going to do a couple of night dives. We have some bioluminescence that we're going to film, which I think is going to be really cool for you guys to see. So, uh, yeah, at the moment, it's just packing what we need to make sure that we A, have a good time and B, are safe, which is always the most important part. Okay, and tell us um, what all you're packing. Ah, let me see. Uh, <laughs> it's just going to be kind of redundant. Snorkels, masks, BCDs, fins, weight pouches, Super, super mega flashlights. Um, let me see. Of course, your dive computer has to go. A uh, lot of places you don't normally need one, but we take them anyway. We've got our dive knives. We've got one here. We've got another one over here. And then gloves, which you're not allowed to use in a lot of places. I take those anyway, just in case. And then uh, we have our wetsuits, if you can see the gear. We just went and hopped in a pool yesterday and did some practicing. So that's... Uh, that's some dive gear. This is Carolyn's BC. She's also got her SMB that we deployed yesterday. We practiced some of that. So it's always good to knock the rust off whenever you're going to go do something like this. So last year we only did it once, which is not normal for us. We usually dive a lot more than that. Three times a year is our goal. Um, but anyway, so it's all about putting it where you can find it and where it's safe. And, uh, yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you soon. All right, guys. Just want to show you uh, some of our equipment. Um, we were diving, like he said, yesterday uh, in the pool, doing some refreshers. Um, these are the weight pouches for our BCDs, um, fins, uh, my fins, um, our booties, um, flashlights any extra mask we may need um, my mask we're letting them dry and we'll clean them all up um, let me back up here so you can see it but this is my BCD it's a liberator um, have all my uh, extra equipment on there that I may need while we're diving this is where um, my white pouch will go. Here are our suits. Um, mine is a three mil, and I believe his is a two, two and a half millimeter. And this is his VCD, which is a Mars. And uh, has all of his extras. Uh, with it as well, his mask hanging off, 
And then, of course, the dive bag where he's putting in his fins on the side. All of the equipment that she's showing you, it's really, <clears throat> you know, people can make judgments and, and lots of people have different opinions. That's kind of the way of the world, but it's, it's whatever suits you and whatever your level of experience and exposure is. Uh, you know, we don't proclaim to be experts. We just go to have a good time. We're not going to impress anybody. We're just going to be safe, see a lot of very cool things, take a lot of very cool pictures and a lot of very cool videos. Um, and I think th this channel, that's what you can look forward to, right? And, and whether it's diving or whether it's just traveling, um, I think that's one of the things that you get to look forward to on this channel is just a couple of older people having fun <laughs> and <laughs> being real <laughs> and being real it's none of this garbage that you see out there now everybody look at me do some goofy stupid dance or whatever it's kind of all crap but anyway and whatever floats your canoe exactly <laughs> so and then we also have um our gopros um i have the gopro silver seven um so this will be our first time using a GoPro that has a screen or an LCD on the back um, in the water housing, which um, the screen won't be able to be accessed. But Bob uses um, the two of the three pluses. And no, two of them are three pluses. And in the videos that you have seen um, already, or the ones that you can see on this channel, you can, you can see that it takes... They take beautiful videos and beautiful pictures. So, yeah, I can imagine the resolution might be a little different to some and different GoPros, but go with what you know. I know how to manipulate them underwater. Um, I hope you agree that some of the pictures are really nice. So some of the ones that I've seen are really, um, or some of the pictures have been really, really nice. When you go back and you look at them and you think, wow, I can't believe I actually took a picture of that. So, um, yeah, just like the channel and uh, we'll try to bring you as much of this stuff as we can yeah bye all right guys um just want to show you a few items um, that we do pack for our dive trips um, this one is the uh, tovatec fusion 530 it's very very bright i think it's uh, a thousand lumens uh, i won't turn it on um, because uh, it will white out the screen um, that one is Bob's. This one is a, a Volda, Volador. I just bought this one. Um, this one is also a 1200 lumens or a thousand lumens, sorry. Uh, and you turn it off and on here. Um, so the more you hit it, the less, it, less bright it gets, um, on that one. And then I have just one that goes on your wrist. We got this one for our daughter. Um, and it's a twist on and off. Um, so there's three lights. We also have the um, Aqualung. This one's the i300. This is my husband's. Uh, it is connected. Uh, you can upload your dives to the computer via a cable uh, that you buy separate from this. It has an attachment on it in case it comes off his wrist. Um, and it'll be uh, more likely to find. Um, mine is the, it's the Mars Puck, and it's an orange face, and I also have the uh, floaty device attached to it in case it comes loose, uh, and hopefully easier to see. Um, <laughs> funny story, I almost lost, or I thought I lost this, in a bed of orange coral and I had the entire boat diving um, on the site right beneath the boat looking for this uh, dive computer so that was funny also guys just want to show you that um, I have a smaller mouth and I also had mouth surgery um, so um, I have to have a smaller mouth piece on my um, on my regulator, so I bring my own, and uh, this is the Aqualung Comfobite mouthpiece. 
I did buy two just to make sure that I am covered. It does say top here. So you know which way is up and which way is down. I think I covered our slates uh, for underwater. Uh, our daughter's a new diver, so this is a good form of com communication under the water. Um, this is a good form of communication under the water, uh, especially for new divers. Um, and then a noise stick. As you can see, it's, it's kind of loud. I might have to buy the magnet uh, that goes on the magnet cap that goes on the bottom to keep uh, to keep them down here until I need to utilize it. If I need to utilize it, also wanted to show you the GoPro Hero. This is the seven silver um, it's got the screen on the back but once you have it in the underwater housing um, you won't be able to utilize or touch the touch screen so just keep that in mind um, that it's not touch screen friendly uh, when it's in an underwater housing and you're diving um, it does take really good videos and uh, really good um, pictures as well so just wanted to make you aware of that. Uh, over here on this side, you just slide it down. And that is your charger and your SD slot. It comes in uh, a case with a red filter and this plastic cover, like if you weren't gonna put it in the underwater housing, this would just slide right on to help protect it uh, from any falls uh, that you may incur at some point. Here's the red filter. The re that would go over the lens um, when you go below a depth of 15 feet uh, you start losing the red color so this is good um, to get those crisp clear images all right folks that's it for now um, please like and subscribe to the video this video anyway is <laughs> in the we're going to have a lot more stuff coming, and forgive us, this is our first go, so we're just getting started at this, and um, we hope to get some nice comments from you guys, and hear from you, and let us know what kind of things you'd like to see, and we'll do our very best to show you, so we'll see you soon.